In this video, let's look at how you can do zero shot aspect based sentiment analysis with Meta Lama 3 and Grok. So Meta Lama 3 comes in two flavors, a 8 billion parameter model and a 70 billion parameter model. And in both these sizes, you have pre-trained as instru and instruction tuned versions. So I'll be making use of the 70 billion parameter pre-trained model and I'll make use of Grok platform. Uh, I'll make use of their APIs to uh, make use of Llama 3 70 billion parameter model. For that, I need to create an API key over here. So I've created an API key over here and I've named it as Llama 3, right? And uh, if you want to directly chat with Llama models, you can do it on Grok. It is very fast. You can select over here the various Llama models which are available over here. Uh, the 8 billion parameter uh, Llama 3 or 70 billion parameter Llama 3. So I'll be making use of the 70 billion parameter Llama 3. Now let's go to our collab notebook. So the first thing you need to do is install Grok library, right? You don't need this double quotes over here. You have to install Grok library. And then what I do is that under secrets, I create a Grok API key secret over here and I copy the API key from here and I put it over here and I make it visible to this particular notebook. Okay. So then uh, what I do over here is that I, uh, you know, from Google Collab, uh, I import user data and I get this Grok API key and I set it to the environment. Okay. The Grok API token, I set it os.environment Grok API key is equal to Grok API token. Right. Then what you need to do is that from Grok library, you have to import Grok and you have to create a client with this API key. That is what is done over here. And then you can define a chat completion um, method for Llama 3 70 billion parameter. So it takes the input as prompt and based on the prompt, uh, the chat, uh, how it does is that you need to call this client dot chat completions dot create. And in the messages, the role is user content is prompt and the model is Llama 3 70 billion 8192. Basically, that is a context window, right? That is what is available over here. If you see Llama 3 70 billion 8192, so that is the model. Okay. So you have to specify that model name over here, right? And this will just return the chat completion message content. Okay. So basically what you are doing over here is you are passing a prompt with the user text to Llama 3 70 billion hosted on the Grok cloud. It uh, makes use of Llama 3 70 billion and it will actually give this prompt and whatever is the generated message which is coming back from Llama 3 70 billion is what is returned in the chat completion dot choices of zero dot message. Right. And we are trying to get that content. Right. That is what is happening over here. Right. So now we have these methods and now let's go to what do we want to do? So our prompt over here will be recognize all aspect terms with their corresponding sentiment polarity in the given review delimited by uh, triple quotes. Okay, so that is my uh, prompt, right? The aspect terms are nouns or phrases appearing in the review that indicate specific aspects or features of the product or service. Determine the sentiment polarity from the options positive, negative, neutral answer in the format aspect sentiment without any explanation. If no aspect term exists, then only answer empty basically. All right. So if I, uh, if a review is present like this, a five seater SUV, SUV with an amazing variety of features, the Tata Nexon is priced impressively between some price. So this is a car review, right? Now for car review, the aspects may be engine features, right? Looks, so you can have these as aspects which you need to extract from over here. So you have defined this prompt and here is my text. So I create the prompt text as prompt plus triple quotes plus text plus triple quotes because you know I'm asking it to recognize all aspect terms within this review which is delimited by triple quotes. That is why I'm doing this. And then I'm sending this prompt text to my uh, you know grok method over here which is llama 370 billion which has been defined over here. Right. So this is my prompt completion method. So I send this prompt text over here and this is the output which I get over here. Okay. So it is saying that features positive customization possibilities. It is pulled out as an aspect positive engine choices, neutral 
गियर बॉक्स ऑप्शन न्यूट्रल लुक इज पॉजिटिव परफॉर्मेंस इज पॉजिटिव कैबिन इज पॉजिटिव ट्रंक इज पॉजिटिव ग्राउंड क्लियरेंस इज पॉजिटिव सो इफ यू लुक एट दिस रिव्यू हियर इट टॉक्स अबाउट ऑल दीज थिंग्स राइट कस्टमाइजेशन पॉसिबिलिटीज विथ सिक्सटी फाइव वर्ष इन टू इंजिन बॉक्स टू गियर बॉक्स ओके एंड प्लेंटी ऑफ रूम एंड बैगेज थ्री फिफ्टी कैबिन इज देर इट कैन कंफर्टेबली नेविगेट रॉकी रोड थैंक्स टू इट्स ग्राउंड क्लियरेंस सो इट हेज पुल्ड आउट सर्टन एस्पेक्ट लाइक ग्राउंड क्लियरेंस ट्रंक योर कैबिन स्पेस बेसिकली राइट द इंटीरियर कैबिन स्पेस द परफॉर्मेंस एंड अदर थिंग्स ओवर हियर सो हियर यू हैव एक्सप्लिसिटली नॉट स्पेसिफाइड एनी एस्पेक्ट्स विच यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सट्रैक्ट बट दैट ऑल्सो कैन बी स्पेसिफाइड ओवर हियर सेइंग दैट एस्पेक्ट्स आर दीज फॉर दिस प्रोडक्ट ओके फॉर कार यू कैन से दैट एस्पेक्ट्स टर्म्स फॉर कार आर लुक्स इंजिन ऑप्शन सेफ्टी फीचर्स ग्राउंड क्लियरेंस यू कैन गिव डिफरेंट ऑप्शन ओवर हियर ओके सो दिस इज क्वाइट फास्ट इफ आई वर टू रन इट एंड शो यू अगेन इट्स रियली फास्ट बिकॉज ग्रॉक इज वेरी फास्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेस्पॉन्सेस राइट सो दैट्स दे हैव समथिंग कॉल एज लैंग्वेज वॉट यू कॉल एल पी यू लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग इन्फ्रेंस इंजिन बिकॉज ऑफ विच दे हैव एक्सलेटेड इन्फ्रेंस सो दैट इज हाउ यू आर सींग दिस मच फास्ट रेस्पॉन्स ओके सो हियर इज अनदर रिव्यू हियर आई सेट डोंट द रिव्यू इज एट डोंट बाई दिस कार एज आई ऑलरेडी मेड अ मिस्टेक buying that car of model something within one week uh, some sensor did not work irritating noise okay so this is a totally negative review and here when i give it it says car is negative uh, back sensor something is negative because it did not work noise is because it produces noise negative customer care is negative i inform to the company they work as laziness right so overall car uh, is negative over here so it has pulled these aspects so for finer control you can specify in your prompt what are the aspects you are looking for this product okay so here is another review uh, this is a phone review after using this particular phone uh, galaxy s23 ultra as a daily driver and coming back to samsung after a long time okay the, these are the pros of the phone these are the cons of the phone okay now let's try this okay slightly longer review uh, let's see It's, the response is so fast okay so the camera is positive right good camera somewhere it was mentioned over here right uh, performance is positive form factor is positive now let's look at what is negative over here curved display another issue with the curved screen is that feeling of screen protector no charger in the box so if you go to negative so you have this charger cable screen protector curved display negative rest of the things are positive from this review so it is actually pull these aspects automatically okay uh let's take another example uh okay did i copy the same thing over here okay performance is like crazy it has okay so it's possibly the same thing but we can test it out to see if it gives the same or it gives a different review every time no it's actually kind of pull the same thing and it is giving over here okay all right curved display is negative screen protector is uh, thing so here is another review uh, it's about a visit to a hotel and uh, let's check what is the aspects which are pulled over here so i have shown over here different domains right so one is an automobile review one is a smartphone review another one is a hotel review so based on the domain you can also customize your prompt with the various aspects which you want to pull you can also say that i want a uh, aspects to be pulled and put it into a json in this format and probably then it will output json as well okay so here it says that the list of aspects are garden is positive architecture is positive staff you know all these things are positive so kind of an overall positive review so in this way you can do aspect based uh, sentiment analysis of various reviews and other things you can convert this unstructured data into structured data you can aggregate on these aspects right and you for a product you can say whether you know overall the sentiment is positive if you look at amazon reviews of a product these days uh, they kind of show you a summary right maybe i'll quickly open amazon right and let me pull okay this is weird but yeah it is what it is okay let me pull a product over here probably an iphone okay uh, let me take a recent one wow there such is really bad i would say i'm searching for a phone and it is kind of giving Okay. Let me type quickly. Ah, 
Oh, first is Samsung. Okay, then you have Apple. Okay, maybe I'll just pull this thing and you know, let's see what is the reviews. If you go to the reviews over here, right? Uh, where are the reviews? Come on. Okay. Mm, product description. Yeah. So customers say, right? Uh, charging speed of the phone, mentioning it super fast. So you can generate a summary over these aspects which have been generated and you can aggregate over the aspects and then you can come up with saying, you know, uh, out of 100 reviews, how many reviews said the quality is good? How many reviews said battery life is good? And then you can come up with this uh, kind of a, a summary, right? So this is where aspect-based sentiment analysis can help. And now you can do zero-shot aspect-based sentiment analysis with large language models like Llama 3. So I'll be sharing this notebook in the description of the video. You can check it out. Grok is a very good platform. You can check out this platform for uh, you know their APIs as well as you can test uh, various language models over here. Uh, I hope this video on aspect-based sentiment analysis with Llama 3 and Grok is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.